सो हे गाइस वेलकम बैक सो इन दिस लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू शो हाउ यू कैन इंपोर्ट द गिट अप प्रोजेक्ट इन योर सोन आर क्यूब सो बुक सो टिल नाउ वी हैव डन द इंटीग्रेशन एंड द कॉन्फ़िगरेशन ऑफ द गिट अप विद द सोन आर क्यूब सो बुक नाउ वी वांट टू इंपोर्ट द प्रोजेक्ट द गिट अप प्रोजेक्ट टू द सोन आर क्यूब सो बुक देन वी विल परफॉर्म द कोड एनालिसिस ऑन दैट हाउ वी कैन डू दैट सो I am on my Sonar Cube server localhost nine triple zero. I am on that, and under that I don't have any project. You can see I don't have any project, and I just log into this Sonar Cube server, and this is my GitHub account. So if you go and see, this is our GitHub project, and the branch is the master branch. This is our GitHub project, and this project we want to import into the Sonar Cube server. So. Under the project, you can see the import from the GitHub. So I will click on that. When I click on this one, it will ask the GitHub project onboarding. So import the repository from the one and your GitHub organization. So we have done. We have set up the organizations. If you see that, this is the organization name. We ran any test repo. This is the one of the organization name, and that organization I have already set up, and this is the project. repository name so this is my project repository so you can see the github repository name so under that i will select the same one so i will select the viren seni test repo so this is the repository organization name and under that i have the one uh, github repository so this is the github repository name test sonar cube repo code so i will select this one now you need to import this repository so you click on the import and after that choose the baseline for the new code for this project so if you are doing the first time you select use the global setting then you scroll down now create a project so when you click on create a project you need to choose the analysis method so here it is asking the analysis method with jenkins and with github actions and with the azure pipeline so as of now i am going to show with the github actions so i will select the github actions now this is asking to create the github secrets and the new repository secrets so for that what you can do you need to go to your github repository settings and then secrets so i am under the github repository this is my github repository name and i will go to the settings this is the project github repository setting not the your account setting so make you need to understand this one you need to go to the github repository setting and if you scroll down you can see the secrets and the variables so you need to select the actions new repository secret i want to create here so here first i need to create a sonar token so i will copy the secret name and then the value of the sonar token so we will generate a sonar token which will expire in one year so generate this is the project token we are going to generate so i will generate this one i will copy and first i will save in the notepad for the future use now continue and the same token i will come the github side and i will paste it here so one secret is added here now uh, second secret is that new repository secret so you need to select the sonar host url so same i will go to the new repository secret under there i will select the variable name and this is the host url name because we are running on the local host so if you are running on the aws ec2 instance or other a uh, server it will give you the server name and the same you can copy and paste it here that i will show in the later videos now we have added the secrets so we follow all the steps steps 1 and the steps this we have added the two secrets now i will follow the step number 2 so we need to create a workflow with the yaml file project is the maven so i will click on this maven now here it is asking to create and update this folder so dot git slash workflows dot build dot xml file so i will select this one and you need to go to your project code so this is your github repository code under there you need to create this folder i have already created for the practice so what you can do select the add file create a new file and then you need to provide the file name so like that it will ask you to git and workflow name okay so like that if you uh, commit the changes you can see this dot github slash workflows will be created 
okay i am going to cancel the changes because i already created this one so this will be look like that after you committing the code dot kit and workflow under this i have the build dot yaml file okay this is my build dot yaml file and now uh, these are the commands which we have to run so you can copy this command and you can run okay so this is a build dot yaml file then how we can trigger this build dot yaml file you can see the actions icon is there so you click on the actions and under the actions we need to create a workflow or we need to run when we execute uh, this build.yml then you can see that the actions will start automatically when whenever we commit the code so through the runner we will execute our github actions yml workflow and then whenever we will commit or push the code the GitHub will automatically trigger the scan and after that we will see on the sonar cube server under this project now the runner is ready to listen the jobs so this is my runner which is already connected to GitHub and this is the uh, listening for the jobs so workflow and then we will see the results okay so now let me go to this uh, code and under this code we need to do some modifications okay so uh, what is the modifications we have to do uh, the first is that build name is there and we will run on the branch master branch because our code under the master branch now here you can see the runs on so under there you need to select the self hosted instead of the ubuntu latest or windows latest those are the github hosted runner we need to select the self hosted runner so i will select the self hosted runner and then steps you will come to the steps then it will be the usage actions slash checkout with fetch and this is the name set up the jdk 17 and now the jdk version is the 17 and the description is the zulu and now if we scroll down now if we are triggering for the windows we need to update this build.yml file so first update is you need to select the right branch and after that here the runs on you need to select the self state. this is the second change you have to do now the jdk version will be the 17 and after that if you scroll down you need to remove the runs on so here these commands basically for to run on the linux and the unix machine we are running on the windows machine so we will update this runs on command okay and this sonar cube and host url token will be used by the linux and the unix machine so if we will but we will follow the same whatever we have done earlier for the windows machine now here you need to select the run so in the run you need to write the maven command mvn clean verify sonar colon sonar okay you need to change these three places so we have updated the build.yml file at the three places i will commit the changes and you can type the message for that one and now commit the changes directly to the master branch and i will commit the change after that you go to your actions and under the actions you can see the one workflow run started so i'll update on this one now you can see the build.yml on push so whenever you push the code it will start so the build analyzer so you click on this one and the status is in progress now here you can see that the current version is this one and it is going to set up the job if you come into your command prompt the job is running build and the analyze sonar now it will runs on the checkout so first it will check the job then it will check out the code github code on your local machine and then it will set up the jdk 17 then it will perform the sonar scan so it will run the mvn clean verify sonar colon sonar now it is downloading the dependencies and then it will preparing the jcoco agent for that because we have the jcoco agent in our pom.xml file all right so we are getting the build failure error so what is the error let analyze the error you can see the using the unspecified version instead of the explicit this is the warning we can um, remove this warning now fail to execute the goal sonar cube sonar on the project because we are not authorized the same error we are getting here not authorized error we are getting here so to resolve this error 
I will take you to the code. So let me go to the code. And this is the code. Under this code, we have updated the build.yml file, but we need to update the pom.xml file also. And this is the pom.xml file. And under this file, we have the sonar.token. Okay, we need to use the right credentials for our scanning. So the token which we have created, we need to use the same token. So I will copy this token. And if you if you don't have this these three parameters, you need to add first sonar dot token and provide the value of this token. This is the project token we have added, and now the project key. So you need to capture the project key. For that, you can go to the sonar cube, and you can see the project information is there under there. You have the project key, so you just copy the project key and paste it here in the pom.xml file. This is your project key. So you can add the sonar dot project key, and you can select the project name uh, which you want to perform. So if you see the project name here, okay, this is the project name test sonar cube repo code. This is your project name. The same you can provide here. So now dot project name. Now just commit. So when I commit my pom dot xml file, the uh, workflow will start automatically. Okay, so I will commit the code. And now if I go to the actions, I can see the update pom dot xml file is started. So I will go to that and now build an analyzer. Now this is going to set up the job so if you come into this command prompt you can see the running a job so now let's see the job is and workflow is running so as soon as you commit the code or push the code on the github account from your local or from the git command the workflow will trigger automatically and it will run the runner job and then it will publish the result on the sonar cube so so this is called the github ci cd and this will happen automatically and how you can integrate the github account with the sonar cube server and how you can configure the github app with the sonar cube server so this configuration is done all right so this time the build is successful now you can see the analysis is successful you can find the analysis dashboard report and note that you will be able to access the updated dashboard once the server is processed the submitted analysis. So if you are not seeing the result uh, immediately, you need to wait for some time. Okay, just refresh the project. Alright, so we can see the report is uh, generated here. You can see the quality gate code pass. Last analysis three minutes ago. And these are the nine lines of the code. And if you go to the issues, you find all the issues which is captured by the sonar cube so you need to validate these issues and then you can provide the fix accordingly in your project and now here the security auto spot there is no security auto spot major is done so we have the complete code here src java code src test code so we have the complete code and the coverage is the hundred percent so we have cover the 100% code here and you can see the coverage so we have done the J unit test coverage report also so this is the 100% is covered so now uh, let me show you the project so if you go to the runner under the runner you can see the hyper work is there so under the hyper work you can see your github repository project is created here everything the github checkout project is there you can see this is up to date and git push so we will use the git push now to push the code so now I'm going to push the code and it will ask me the username and the password so whatever username we have used so we'll enter the username and then it will ask for the password so password we need to provide the token token when we will create this github account that time so we have the token so I will use the same token now here you can see the git compression is done the pushing is done now go to the branch and here if you refresh this uh, repository you can see the commit one minute ago and now if you go to the action you can see the commit code this workflow is automatically started so as soon as you commit the code 
you can see the analysis is started so this is my id wherever my, i am writing the code so as soon as i uh, write the code and then i will push the code to the git uh, repository through the git bash command or the git command git command then you can see the workflow will automatically start here i no need to start anything for the scanning through the local or personally and then i can see the report here will be published so this is how we can integrate this is how on the push we can perform the sonar cube code analysis through the github ci cd so these are the sonar cube uh, analysis performed through the github ci cd using the github